I'm trying to prolong the life of this tablet, and as you can see, it says here in memory of Bobet. He's my younger brother. He died in 2015 and he owned this tablet. And since then, I am taking good care of this uh, tablet. But everything is supposed to end and this is no exception. Please subscribe first if you haven't yet and click that notification bell. You can see here at the right corner, top corner, the battery indicator is uh, saying that the battery power left is only 26% so we have to recharge but since sira ng battery nito titingnan mo kung ano mayayari it says here unable to charge because the charging is uh, paused due to the battery has a very high temperature okay so, antayin pa natin na um, mag-cool down yung battery before charging resumes. At pagkikita mo dito, nag-blink tong battery indicator. It means um, you are not charging. Okay? So, antayin na lang natin yan. Nasa 25% pa naman. Sometimes, mag, uh, kung below 20, mag-turn off yung uh, uh, tablet. So I really need to replace the battery here. Then the Samsung SMP 912.2 inch tablet started acting up. It keeps on restarting and could not successfully reboot and open the home page. You know what? Devices are like human. It needs to rejuvenate. It needs a reboot. So I tried a tested solution to this problem. I shut down the tablet while it keeps on restarting by long pressing the power on button until it turns off. Then I open the black cover of the tablet which is easy. You only need plastic prying tools to slowly dislodge some plastic lacks at the edge of the cover. The cover is overlaid with synthetic leather but it's plastic under it. Some plastic lacks have been broken during prying. Kaso lang, dami ng mga maliliit na plastic na ano, natanggal. So the case is already so brittle so kunting ano mo lang na puputol siya or na broken I removed the battery connection which is conveniently located at the center of the board I waited for at least 10 minutes before reconnecting the battery terminal to its connector once connected the tablet was restarted but still it's slow in booting up oh it solves the problem Yes, it solved the boot loop problem and successfully started and opened the home page. However, this early, I'm telling you, it doesn't actually solve the rebooting problem. I will tell you more later. I also noticed that the clock display is now in sync and the Bluetooth is no longer acting up. However, again, the problem on Bluetooth is also not totally solved. While using the tablet at 84% charge, the battery was fast draining and down to 13% after only 2 hours. As soon as I plug in the charger, the tablet shuts down and the screen shows 0% battery status. This has been a problem for the past months. Few days before, I have already purchased from an online store a replacement battery for the tablet. It was delivered just in time for this video. The price of the replacement battery was cut to half. So, we have to replace... Patanggalin natin ulit ang battery. Then, pagkatapos matanggal yung terminal ng battery, we have to also remove this cable here. This is the cable for Wi-Fi. And this one, oh no, this is for Wi-Fi. This one is for the LCD display. Okay? So, makita na meron pa tong warranty sticker dito. Uh, wala na tong warranty. <laughs> so, pwede na tanggalin actually yung sticker na yan. And also this one, kuko na lang gagamitin natin pag tanggal. Mas madali pa eh. Then, tanggalin natin yung screws here. There are ilang screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 na screws. Okay. 
to yung battery okay so kung makikita nyo the original has really a mark na Samsung while the replacement wala nakalagay na brand and uh, nakalagay dito cell made in China dito nakalagay cell made in Malaysia assembled in Vietnam dito cell made in China assembled in China Okay, so kung replace natin natin, talagang authentic, made in China. Okay. Yes, let's connect it first. Okay, balik natin yung mga cables. Shaba. Thank you, one way. Okay. You want to fix it? So, done it. Sting natin. Uy, wala pa itong ano ha. Okay. Buhay siya. Next start up ha. Ting na mutong battery dito. Parang may bloat na siyang konti, konti lang ito. Sira na talaga siya. May bloat ng konti siya dito. So, medyo tagal pa rin siya nag-uon. Talagang may problema na ito, hindi lang siya battery ang problema. Rebooting the tablet took some time. So initially, nasa 62 yung charge niya. I let the battery to be fully charged at 100% and observe how the tablet operates with the new battery. I ran the device continuously for the next 2 hours while streaming videos and opened a browser until the power of the battery went down to 50%. After more than 4 hours, the battery started to drain at 18%. Then, a low battery warning has popped up indicating the power left at 15%. So, in less than 4 hours, the battery is almost totally consumed indicating either the tablet is already a battery hag or the new battery is not performing well considering it's a knockoff of the original Samsung battery. So, I ended up recharging again. Also, the Bluetooth was acting up again. There were times it won't connect despite I turned on the Bluetooth and the status icon was not appearing. And suddenly, it will just come to operation and my Bluetooth keyboard is already connected to the tablet. Also, if the tablet shuts off, it will have a hard time starting back again. It returned to boot loop again. I tried another solution, this time to restart at recovery mode. While the tablet is off, I press the power and volume up buttons at the same time until the tablet entered into the recovery mode. I selected the wipe cache partition using the volume down button and confirmed by pressing the power. After the cache is clear, I selected the reboot system now and confirm it. Then the tablet restarted but again it took a while before it finally opened. But there's another error message again that says process system isn't responding. You are prompt to either wait or close it. There's no clear reason for this error. According to experts, it seems it is common to Samsung and Alcatel Android devices. The boot loop is keep coming back, so I have to resort to enter into Odin mode, but to no avail as the tablet stuck to downloading. I went back to disconnecting again the battery terminal and successfully restarted the device. 
So I finally decided to factory reset the device. I back up all my important documents and files before doing the factory reset. I went to normal factory reset since the device has been open. Deleting all data took a while, but it ran smoothly. The tablet restarted and looks fresh again. I have to set up Google from the beginning and reinstall all apps. So that's it. The ultimate solution was to reset to factory setting and everything is normal again and fresh. Bluetooth works normally and booting is fast. If you want this video to be your future reference, do like it so that it can be located easily in your YouTube account. Please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Dahan salamat, ako si Jun Tariman, Hightech Tabae.